news that we first brought you live on 10 News Midday. 10 News reporter Natasha Zuvez explains how it all led back to one sailor. Well, the investigation began when a sailor's car was found missing a tire. And when a bomb sniffing dog alerted that there may be explosives on that car, that's when the area was evacuated and the gate behind me was shut down. Some sailors were waiting in their cars to get in for four hours. Cars and more cars under the hot sun. Oh, I'm way late now. I've been on the phone with my boss, though, so he's in the same line. <laughs> This is how many of our sailors started the day. We started near the back of the line and made our way up slowly. One Navy contractor is making the best of it, working on his laptop in the car. Maybe we should just go to breakfast. While others slept, this woman was too worried to rest. Oh, it's been off for a while because I have a quarter take of gas. For Valerie Vogue, a military spouse, this Monday is precious, her last day of leave. She needs to drive back to Arizona, and clearly she's stuck. And we need to check out of the Navy Lodge, and we can't check out at the moment. And then you have people who won't turn off their cars, so that gets kind of, we can't roll down our windows because, you know, the fumes and everything gets annoying. We'll take a look at this line of cars. We've been tracking it back a couple of blocks now. That car in the front has been waiting there for two hours. And look beyond that, beyond the naval base, cars as far as the eye can see. What you could see outside of the base is the result of roving patrol spotting a car missing a tire around 6.30 this morning. We saw flashing lights through the gate. When dogs swept the car, they indicated explosive residue. The sailor who owns the car is being interviewed right now. An evacuation was ordered, the gate was shut down, and the car started lining up. It makes for a great Monday morning. <laughs> so it's kind of not how you want to start the day. We've been monitoring Naval Base San Diego's Facebook page, and they confirmed that no bomb threat or specific device was found. At Naval Base San Diego, I'm Natasha Zuvest, 10 News.